Hello, best friend. How are you guys? Um, if you are new, my name is Sebastian, and I do pop culture videos every day. Um, and sometimes I also do, you know, talking videos, sit down talking videos that I find uh, very important. And in this video, I I'm gonna open up and uh, talk to you guys about, you know, some things that have been going on lately, and um, just a lot of, you know, yeah, just so you know sit back and relax um i first of all want to say thank you so much to every single person who wrote to me uh, in my community tab i am very grateful and thankful um you guys have been so incredibly sweet and supportive and that just it truly means the world um if you guys don't know on friday my uncle unfortunately passed and for some time he's been sick for about i want to say close to a year but there was like some improvements and then not improvements and like up and down um and then we got word like about two weeks no two and a half weeks ago uh two weeks ago when we were in mexico my mom and i um we we got word that uh, unfortunately well they didn't really like say it they didn't want to worry us but um, we were asked to make a video for him and it was supposed to be like a get get well video but we knew that in a way we were saying goodbye um, but we kind of were in a little bit in denial and so for the past like two weeks we've been uh, just not 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 well to be very honest especially my mom um, he was a very special person to us um, he he kind of took on the role of my grandfather when my grandfather passed he passed when I was like 10 and he took really the role and um, you know he saw my mom practically grow up and um, I would go every summer to stay with him and uh, in Colombia and just uh, I have so many amazing memories with him that I'll forever cherish and um, it's just, you know, I've unfortunately gone through loss quite a lot. Um, and you would think that it gets, like, I, you would understand, like, how to navigate it. But you kind of do, it, it, in a very weird way. Like, you know, part of me is like, well, you know, he was, he was ill. Thank God he was not in pain. But... I can't imagine a life force that he was seeing himself like bound in a bed you know what I mean and like you know not really able to do much for himself so I think he was such a life force and so full of life that he you know he was he was such an interesting person he really was he was so intelligent but not only that, he had stories for days and he he always made you feel so welcomed. He never, he never, you know, I really felt like he was like my, my, my grandfather in a way, you know, he treated me like his grandson when I, when I was there. Um, he helped my family a lot when we were going through some tough times and I just will forever cherish my memories with him and today I was talking to my mom um, and I was reading actually some of your guys's comments and she my mom I don't think she fully understands like the YouTube thing and, and like our relationship if you will um, because I, you know, she always hears me calling you guys my, you know, my messy best friends. And, you know, sometimes I talk to her about you guys. And, you know, if I ever meet you guys in, in person, you know, she's and she's there. Like, you know, she she gets very, like, astonished, you know. Um, and actually this morning, my, we took her to the zoo, the Los Angeles Zoo. Which, if you guys have not been, you really kind of should. It's a very nice hike. It's like a two-hour thing, but it's really nice. Um, but we were talking about... Because I said to her, you know, that I think I'm going to take a couple days to myself. 
I said this last night to her. Uh, and this morning while we were walking, looking at the giraffes and stuff, we were, we were, we were talking and, and I've had like anxiety, a lot of anxiety lately, like, like a lot. And like, you know, that anxiety that like, like really takes over and like, you can barely catch your breath like that. Um, and this morning while we were walking, I, I told her that I, you know, reading your guys' messages and, and, and you know, seeing your guys' stories as well and seeing a lot of you guys say you miss me when I don't post. I thought to myself, you know, I told her, I was like, oh, look at the giraffe. And then I said, you know, um, I feel that you guys say that I give you guys a lot, right? That I, I bring light to you or whatever, um, that I keep you company and, 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 you guys feel, you know, like a connection, but I feel the same exact way. I'm not even kidding. Like I, I was talking to her about this and I said, you know, I think when I get home, I'm gonna, I'm gonna film my videos. And she was like, I thought you were gonna take a break. And I said, you know, when I do my videos, I feel connect, like I feel connected to a purpose, you know? And I, I for those eight to 10, 12 minutes, whatever it is, I, I, I like get lost in this world and it and it's and it's such a nice break from reality if you will um and I told you that and you know she said you're 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 very lucky to have that connection you have with with, with the people who watch and I said I said you know people go through so many things that you need an escape and you know, just how you guys say I keep you company, you guys keep me company as well. And um, I told her that. And, and also one thing that that always kind of uh, gets to me is like the Sunday blues, you know? And I, I know that a lot of you guys have always told me that, like my videos keep you company on Sundays. And that has always struck with me because Sundays for me have always felt like a very lonely day. I don't know why. Um, so I, I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm so grateful to be able to do videos for you know for you and for me. I I think that it's such a, a huge blessing that I'm able to try my best to entertain you as much as possible and hopefully make you laugh, keep you company and, and kind of be an escape for you, if you will. Um, and, and, you know, today I really like explained to her how much gratitude I felt because it is astonishing. Like I look forward to doing my videos. You know, I, I, I really do look forward to, to do them. And yeah, I know they're silly topics, but, but it's important for me to, to keep my promise, to keep you guys company, to, to do it and also because it helps me out so much mentally you guys have no idea um and then moving forward um the anxiety i felt lately is horrible like literally hard my mom too um i'm so grateful that we were able to go through this together um but I do have to say, you guys, that if you're going through any kind of loss or any kind of grief and you don't have anyone to hear you out or to keep you company, I promise you guys that every single day I say a prayer for you. Every day. Every single night when I go to bed, when I wake up, I do my morning gratitude prayer. And it's there's always a place in my prayers for you guys. Um, grief comes in very different ways like you can be laughing one minute you can be feeling great one minute and then one minute it's like it slaps you in the face you know it really truly does and i think that it's so important to to take time to really fully understand what you're going through and to really fully like experience what you're going through so if you're if you're sad, if you're depressed, if you're feeling lonely, kind of allow yourself to feel that because I feel like when you allow yourself to feel certain things, 
it kind of gets easier to move on from them because if you hide them and you kind of put them on the side it's never a good idea you know what I mean and and you you keep kind of like uh, digging no not like burying them and one day it you know it's gonna pull you down so much and then it's just gonna explode so feel your feelings be sad be this be that whatever it is you're feeling and know that you know on my channel you have a very safe place um, and then the last thing I wanted to say to you guys is I convinced my mom to do a video with me before she leaves this uh, next this week <laughs> um, and so it's sort of like a question and answer type thing. So if you want to be part of it, leave your questions down below for my mom and I. Um, uh, and we're going to probably film that like throughout this week. So we're going to be filming that and a couple of other surprises for you guys with my mom. So um, just wanted to say thank you for giving me this platform. Thank you for listening and if you're going through something like this or you know anything else just know that as much as like it sounds so corny and i said this in my in my in my community tab but i really meant it i i i do believe the sun will always come out tomorrow and i know that a lot of you are like cringe cringe corny corny but it is you know what that little red-headed girl had a really freaking she had the right point you know she literally said the sun will come out tomorrow and i think that it's such an important message because some people unfortunately don't wait till tomorrow and take action that they'll regret or their families will regret if you know what i mean so it's always good to have some kind of hope and i just hope and pray that you have that hope if you're going through something and um, I love you all. I'm actually gonna film my videos of the day right after this one because I, I, I get really, really happy when I do them. So um, I hope you watch them and enjoy them. And I love you all so much. And I really, truly am grateful for all your love and support. And I'll talk to you guys in my next videos. Bye.